it's no secret by now that I'm on uh, Alone Frozen in Labrador. Alone has never done this before. In a new series, six former Alone contestants. This is a redemption for So I'm just in uh, St. John's, getting ready to fly to location for the Alone Frozen. And uh, it should be interesting to see how I do this season. Um, I know you'll all cheer for me. I'm gonna do the best I can, but it's uh, getting tougher the older you get, you know. Well, I'm here in Goose Bay, Labrador. I think by November it will be freezing here, but right now there's still plants out, so that's pretty good. Hopefully I can collect plants and do okay. Right on. They get up pretty quick. Yeah, look at that. That was a gorgeous white wind. Yeah. Wow. Sure was. Well, here I am in my personal little tent. It's a wall tent, and uh, these guys were pretty good. They got us uh, fire going already. And you are not. Yeah. There's no problem, sir. I found my cousin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be pretty cool um, stay here for a few days before we head out to the spot and uh, just enjoy it for now well it lasts it wasn't really a competition in the sense that anybody that made the 50 days could share the prize money they'll collect their share of half a million dollars you're not going to fight off the polar bear he's going to eat you what I found with uh, at orientation was that we shared ideas, we showed each other what uh, kind of traps we used, made. Um, we just shared a game plan of what we all had in mind. It was really interesting not to be like keeping secrets from each other. We'd go out target practicing together. Um, just sharing ideas and stories, uh, different aspect from other seasons where you're trying to keep everything top secret from the other competitors because you want the advantage, you wanna, you wanna win. More like a team effort than a competition sort of idea. So. Yes. Quiet, uh, quiet, made almost a kilometer of this wooden track. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Just out here at uh, the so, magnificent uh, archery range. You can tell they spent a lot of money on this. See, down there we've got only the best of the best. I know. <laughs> One target's missing all the legs. He's laying down. There's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's playing dead. No, the target's not missing the legs. We just have bonus targets. These are like separate. They're like quarters. Oh. Like the trees. Yeah. yeah, they're trying to show us how to quarter the animal. Yes. Okay. Very, very, very 
good. So there we see, go. I just hold it here and then almost yeah. just like <laughs> shoots it shoots. out of my hand. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's not gonna work. <laughs> and what are these? This one Black Eagles, 315 grains. I cannot not drop my arm. Some of you guys never moves. Like Joe. Does this not move. one's right here. Are these extras? Those from yesterday? There's Michelle. We're both shooting at a fair distance here and we got an excellent grouping. Yahoo! As you can see. And that's from about 70 feet. So that's perfect. Perfect shooting. So I'm here with my new friend, Amos. And he was just showing me a video of his uh, young daughter, four years old. Yeah, it's about to be four. She's going to be four, and she had the cutest little video of encouragement for him. So he's going to send that so I can share it. Um, just the cutest little thing, right on. <laughs> okay, buddy. miniature house Mark's building to try to mimic his shelter building out there. I don't know if the door is going to stand up to a polar bear there, Mark. <laughs> I, I might have to Maybe you know something an evacuation like plan out the roof. <laughs> Injection seat. <laughs> That's pretty so. cool. Here, let me see the little bowl. Yeah, so oh, yeah. the roof is... Oh my god! <laughs> the cord is like just long oh. enough that you can step on it. Just be careful. Thank you. Great tonight. Over to charge, but this is very distracting. Wow. Looks cozy, Mark. A drying rack or something? No, there will be. So there's a drying rack in there. But <laughs> I need it. You gotta draw it out. I, I can't see it. Well, that's, we don't have to have that because that's like. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, I'm just getting video. That's all. Did you find it, yes, Greg found it. Greg found it. <laughs> just having a little game here. Okay, good. Because now we've slowed them down and you've slowed them down a bit. Because they have to throw it up and throw it up and knock it down before they're allowed to Nice. Yeah. Good shooting. My interview. Oh, yeah. I'm a sharp. Ah, what are you doing, Greg? Well, I'm just getting everybody on video. 
never been around so many celebrities all at once. <laughs> <laughs> minor, minor. Celebrity comments. The only Tom guy missing is Tom Hanks. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Hanks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So tomorrow is uh, launch day. Hopefully you enjoyed some of the uh, scenes, the uh, behind the scenes footage that I got here at orientation camp. But we'll be heading out early in the morning. And I'm the only Canadian on this season. So wish me luck and uh, it's going to be interesting. I am getting older. I'm not, uh, I'm six years older than uh, Lone in Patagonia when I was on season three. But I'm going to do my best to make the 50 days, even though it's going to be later in the year, into November and even December. And we'll see you when I get out. Um, anytime I get an opportunity to be on the show, I mean, it's always neat to go to other areas, uh, see different, you know, types of terrain. There's a lot of interesting things about Labrador. Pretty remote. Being a later launch day than usual, um, the plants were pretty much gone. Not a lot of uh, forage as far as plants and berries and things like that. So I find myself that any time I'm in a situation like that, I rely heavily on fish. So it'll be interesting. Hopefully you'll uh, follow the series. But I really had a good time. Any time I get on the Alone Show, I mean, I always have a good time. You'll have to stay tuned and watch Alone Frozen. I appreciate all you subscribers and all you viewers. And we'll see you on the next one. Coming soon this fall, Greg teams up with one of the other alone frozen contestants for another 30-day survival challenge on Oven's Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. Stay tuned to learn more about the upcoming series and Greg's newest survival partner.